we do a Destin restaurant series without including Dewey Destin's seafood restaurant. There's just not any better place where you can have both history and seafood in the same location. I'm so glad that Dewey did not cut down these oak trees. They make this place beautiful and they've decorated them well. Out here too is seating for the football games that are on TV. Uh, there's brick paving here as well. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. Maybe almost as famous as Dewey Destin himself are his hush puppies. So I'm going to try one now in front of you. Mm, that's good. Take a look at the view here. They have outside seating as well as inside seating. And you can't go wrong here. Everything looks great. Inside they have a lot of historical pictures and a lot of references to the way Destin used to be. And then out here you have the views of the harbor and the Destin fleet. Here's a couple of things that you can expect to find at Dewey Destin Seafood Restaurant. This is the grilled shrimp, which is always caught fresh right out of the Gulf here. And another is the bronzed fish. Now, bronzed fish is almost like blackened fish, except it has some spice to it but not enough to where you cannot taste the fish. So it uh, gives the fish a little bit of extra kick, but still retains that fish flavor. So I have the red snapper here that I'm really excited about trying. Uh, they have all the other uh, fresh catches that you would expect to see here at a place like Dewey Destin Seafood Restaurant. The lunch prices here are very reasonable and the atmosphere is just right. So, let's take a look at how this fish tastes. Mm. That's really good. That's my first time having bronzed red snapper and I'll be ordering this again. I'm sitting here with Dewey Destin himself and he's given us the opportunity to ask a few questions. Dewey, you've had this restaurant open for how long? I think we opened this one in about four years ago, so this is our, our newest restaurant. It's, right. it's located on one of the old parcels of the Marlar Homesteads, which right. one of the old founding families in Destin, mm -hmm. actually uh, my cousins. So when this became available, we bought it about probably 15 or 20 years ago, and then we were able to remodel it and uh, open this up. It looks great. And I really like the atmosphere here. Nice view. Mm -hmm. When I was a little boy, we had our boats docked behind here, so I was down here when I was six years old getting on the fishing boats every morning and going, going fishing. So this is, this is kind of like a, a home to me. Yeah. I like the historical photos, too, that you have uh, throughout the restaurant inside, and it makes me think of what used to be. Uh, you might be interested in knowing that we are distant rela uh, relatives because uh, I'm a Brooks and he's a Destin, so uh, we have a couple of distant uh, connections there. Absolutely. The family's intermarried about three or four generations ago. Right. Uncle Billy Marler married Aunt Camilla Brooks at the time, yeah. and, uh, and they, you know, they have lots of descendants in the area, a couple of the old pioneering families. Right. Now you mentioned about this location. Tell us about the other location. The other location is over on the bay and is part of the old original homestead that Leonard Destin settled in the 1840s. And so that little parcel has been in the family for what 170 years now, something like that. And it's very rustic. It's an old unloading dock where we used to unload our fishing boats, you know, four to five generations back. It's pretty simple. Out on the dock, no air conditioner. Right. Uh, it's it's old Destin like old Destin used to be. Right. Uh, we have we have the ability to cook more fancy dishes here, and, and our head chef here actually is is also from an old family in Destin, which were the Shiras. Oh. And Jim went to culinary school in Panama City and then studied in France. And he also fished on the boats with us as a boy. But Jim is our head chef here, and, and is you know probably one of the few French trained chefs we have in Destin now. We're very proud of it. Yeah. Uh, how, what are the, what, what times is the other restaurant open, the one on the bay? They are there from 11 till in the summertime, 8 or 9, mm -hmm. and 
for seven days a week. Right. So it's uh, it's just the ambience over there is just sitting on the dock watching the world go by. We're right next to Crab Island, so you can watch all the activities out there. Yeah. It's just good old Destin, and that dock hasn't changed 40 years, 50 years. Yeah. Now, uh, here, uh, locals know that uh, this is one of the best, and in fact, uh, you've gotten the best of the Emerald Coast multiple times. Yeah. Um, tell me what do people enjoy eating most here? What is most ordered? Well, I think our two top dishes probably are the shrimp, fried or grilled, and grouper done in three or four different ways. We have the pecan crusted and we have bronze, but we specialize in, in local fish that we buy from boats that are landing here in Destin. We use, use a couple of the wholesale companies here, Aerial Seafood, and, and we buy a lot of fish from the Harbor Docks. And so we try to always have something that actually came from the Gulf of Mexico on the menu. Oh, sure. Yeah. Our shrimp are all locally produced, which you know, nowadays I think 88% of shrimp consumed in this country are imported. And we get all our shrimp from between Apalachicola and, and Biola Battery. So, you know, we, we make a trip over there once or twice a week during the season, buying shrimp and oysters and crab meat and the, and the fish we get from here. Yeah, well, you do a good job of it. I enjoy it very much. Now, uh, I have also been told that your key lime pie is very, very good. That so, is. so I'm I'm going to try a little bit of that right now. We make that here. Mm -hmm. That's on the best key lime pie I've ever had. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. That, a lot of loving care goes into that key lime pie. Yeah, I can see that. Dewey, thank you so much. Nice for your seeing time. you. I'm Rob of Rob Brooks Realty, and this is where I live. <laughs>